Hey, what is going on everybody? And welcome to this episode of Eddie's Customs and Restoration. So I got the Chevelle in the shop right now. And you know, I got these original seats. And that's what I sport every time, right? And that's that's what I've had for a while. Well, they're good. They look nice. You know, they're they're decent. However, you don't have the side bolster support. You know, they're they're really squeaky. You can hear all the springs and everything on them. So I wanted something that was really going to hold me while doing my spirited driving, if you know what I mean. So I went ahead and got on the interwebs and I started looking for some, some seats. So originally the plan was to get some Camaro seats because they already have the SS on the, on the headrest, right? Well, the reason I did not go with the Camaro seats is because if you notice... The, the floor on the Chevelles is pretty much level with the bottom of the seat. I mean, not exactly, but you got about this much, you know, that, that goes down, right? So on a Camaro, which I can actually walk over to my Camaro right now. Okay, so we're out here. Excuse my glorified mess. I don't really clean my car very often. But look at this. You, you have a really tall rocker right so the seat has to travel down quite a ways right so that makes for a really tall seat base okay so that's a really tall seat base so with that being said camaro seats were not going to look very good on this car so i needed something that was going to be shorter and not so tall right which is uh when I decided to start looking into Corvette seats. And I found these guys right here. These are out of a C7 Corvette, I believe 2016. Long story short, uh, the only details that are, are worth saying is that I got these seats really cheap. These seats go for $2,500 around that pretty much everywhere on eBay. And I found them locally and I was able to get these seats for $700. So that was really cheap. But anyhow, these are not manual seats obviously. So it's really nice, you know, that they're that they're power seats. However, how do we get them to work? Well, that's what we're going to go over right now. So if we pick up this seat, I'm going to lay it back. So if you look back here, you would pretty much assume that if you power the real big thick red wire and the real big thick black wire, you would power up everything. Well, wrong, not exactly. You're close, but no cigar. So what you're gonna have to do is, you're gonna have to wire this guy, that prong right there, and we'll do a demonstration right now. So you're gonna wire up that prong right here. Wow, this is a really bad choice. That's a really bad choice for a pointer. Okay, so this bottom one right there, you can see that one right down here. You're going to get that one, and then you're also going to get this one. So those last two, this one and that one, those are going to be given power. And then this one's going to be given a ground. So I'll give you that demonstration, like I said. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hook this guy up right here. Okay, so we got one, and then we got that one down, oh, no we don't, and now we do, okay, and I got this real handy dandy little power probe tool, which I adore, my dad hates it, <laughs> but, so, the way this power probe works is, you got a little tail right here. This guy is a ground. And then you use this toggle switch right here and you go up for power or you go down for ground. Now, what this toggle switch is controlling is what this point gives. So if you give it, you know, power, this point will now have power. If you give it ground, this point will now have ground. This wire will always be a ground. Okay, so remember that so we're gonna hook this guy up to the ground right here on the side bear with me because I'm 
I'm only using one hand here. You know what? Let me get the let me get the little tripod. Okay, we're back on business. All right. So let me just bring you in. Nothing's nothing's changed. See, I got that little one hooked up, and then I got the bottom one hooked up, right? And then that other one on the side. So remember those two these two wires are actually hooked up so it's the same it's the same wire okay it's literally just the jumper wire so i'm going to supply power to this one which is going to supply the other one power because they're connected together remember that these two are connected together okay so i'm going to supply it power right so i'm supplying power now well look I'm going to supply power, see red light supplying power, and then see seats moving. I'm going to go back down. I'm going to, I'm going to recline the seat back. I'm going to go forward, down, up. You see how the bottom moved? So that was pushing down, which is pushing the seat up. Finally mounted the seats. And there's a video, which there's a link down in the description as to what I did to mount these seats on the car. As you just saw, you saw what wires it's going to take to power up the seats. And let me show you. We got them working now. So I'm going to go forward. I'm going to go back. Let's move the, uh, the recline forward. Go back. Let's see? I'm not going to do the full, you know, the full uh, sweep of everything, but you get the point. They work. Both both sides actually work. They're both tied in together. Uh, so what I ended up doing was I pretty much uh, tapped in, you know, to my wires like I showed you earlier. Got my plugs here. They're hooked up and it goes through there. Uh, of course, I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap the wires with some nice wire loom uh, once I'm once I got the time because right now I just wanted to get them to work because I do drive this car often. But uh, yeah, so pretty much the wires run underneath and then it goes over the hump of the uh, center console inside the center console. So I took this plate off right there uh, and then I ran the wires through so they're underneath that and then they go under the seat. So on that side, what I did. I I cut a slit into the uh, into the carpet on that side, right? And I cut a slit, and then I fished the wires through here, and then came up to here, and under the carpet, of course. And then I ran my wires through all the way over to the kick panel, right? And of course, this is on that side. Um, I went up the kick panel and then up and over, got my power and ground. I got my power from, from the main fuse block, which is up there, the original uh, fuse block where all your fuses are at. I uh, got my main power from the battery terminal there and that's what's powering up the seats. And well, I just got a ground from the steering column, but yeah, they work. And uh, if you're curious to know what it took to get these seats in, like I said, there's a link down in the description. You can check that video out there and you'll see what it took. So thank you again for watching, you guys. I hope this video helped. If it did, please like, share, subscribe. And as always, until next time, thank you for watching.